Yeah. So there's different ad types. So even within like targeting the listing, like on the listing page, there's different ad types. So there might be, there's a banner at the top but you also have a sponsor display ad, which allows like custom graphics or a, you know, a custom image. And then just like a normal ad that just has the main image. So we often like to use those like sponsor display, like let's get an image on there. Let's like sort of like separate this. So with the toaster example that Petros mentioned, you know, we have sponsor display ads running on competitor listings where we're showing the logo that stands out, you know, on a listing page, we're actually showing our client's logo or we'll show their toaster in like a kitchen setting, something that stands out. So we're not just like paying for an ad that's just the main image. And we can actually test, sometimes the main image will have a better effectiveness for the cost per click. So we like to run these things, test them, and, you know, it depends on the product. The more simple ads that cost less might end up doing better. So we really love to use the data to see what works. Yeah, I agree. I think I'll tell our creative team, like, instead of just doing A-B tests, like literally do 20 tests. Mm -hmm. Like the more tests you can run, I think a lot of people say just do two or three, but then you're cutting yourself short. Like, why is it just two and three? Like there could be other variables. You have to test them as many as you can and then look at the data, say, which one's the best? what's your feeling about that when it comes to testing? Like what's your cadence? How often should you change it? How many variables are you guys testing? Yeah. I mean, a lot of it depends on how many creative assets we have access to from our clients. We're always kind of begging for new creative, more finely targeted creative for specific target segments. But if we have those assets, you know, we'll test things like for a video ad, for instance, does a 40 second video ad work better than a 10 second video ad or a 25 second video ad, you know, that's one thing we'll test like the length of an ad, um, obviously different product features on those ads. So we'll say, is this product feature resonating more than this other feature? So we'll test like different product features in that way. And then we test them against different markets. So like one piece of creative might work really well for a certain target, you know, segment, but might not work for another. So it's really as many variables as we can test, we try to test, but often we're limited by the amount of sort of assets that we get from our clients in that respect. Yeah. One quick example of this is we have a client and we were running two different video ads for them in the Amazon search results. One was a sort of generic video ad advertising their product, advertising their brand. The other video ad was sort of targeting a competitor without using the competitor's name. We were showing a side-by-side -side of their product versus the competitor's product and why the competitor's product is not only not as good, but it can often be dangerous to use. And that one we saw performed way better because the customers are actually seeing, you know, the silhouette of that product is right above the video, ad, right below the video ad. They know what they're comparing to. So like, oh, you know, we realized that one worked way better because, you know, we're fighting for a click. So that video that's comparing against the competitor and seeing, oh, wow, there's such an advantage to this product. That's a great example of using A-B testing with creative, using, in this case, the variable was, you know, clicks, conversions. One video performed well, we ended up rolling with that one. Yeah, I think one mistake a lot of brands make is sort of an over-reliance on software and just thinking it's a numbers game. When often, like, the biggest wins are kind of like clever ideas, like only a human could think of. So that's a really good example of something that worked amazingly well that a computer probably would have never thought of. So it's important, like the data is extremely important, but it's really important to have some human creativity and problem solving as part of the process.